What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video back with another Dokkan Battle video. So the highly anticipated details for the upcoming Prime Battle LR Krillin have finally been released courtesy of the official Dokkan Twitter page. So in today's video, we are going to be breaking down everything we know about this guy from his leader's skill to his passive, his links, and all that good stuff. But real quick, we of course first have to take a look at his super attack animations together. So let's pop over to this other page here and uh, check it out. Here we go. Okay, all right, there you go. Those are the official super attack animations of the upcoming Prime Battle free-to-play LR Krillin. And I gotta say, that was my first time watching them all the way through. They did an amazing job, man. These look really, really clean. There's clearly somebody at Bandai or Akatsuki that loves Krillin. And I'm so glad to say that our boy finally got the respect he deserves. I mean, it's been shaft after shaft after shaft. They're just like mediocre Krillins. And then we had like one pretty good free to play one in the battlefield shop. But we just never got that like one amazing Krillin. And this guy is definitely it. Um, once we get to the, you know, information, the passive and all that stuff, you guys will see he is incredibly, incredibly good, especially for the world tournament. But just from a purely aesthetic standpoint, from, you know, just looking at the animations, they killed it. Amazing, amazing animations. I love them. So uh, there you go. Enjoy for a second. And let's pop over now to... I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess where we're going. The Twitter page of none other than the homie Goresh. Huge shout out and thank you to Goresh for the translations. We appreciate you. And uh, his details are as follows. Krillin Rage Induced Super Attack. He's a Fizz unit, by the way. And his leader skill is Earthlings category. So Earthlings is a brand new category comprised of, as you can guess, people that are from Earth, I guess. And I haven't seen the official like list for the category, but I can pretty much guess who's going to be on it. And he gives this category key plus four HP attack and defense plus 150%. So just based off of that, I can tell you that the category is not going to be that good. Like it's probably going to be okay, but it's not going to be broken or busted or anything like that because that is a massive, massive boost that this free to play LR is giving to this category. So there's no way that it's as good as some of the recent categories we've seen, like Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, or even some of the you know slightly lower tier categories. It's just probably going to be like an okay, mediocre-ish category. But uh, at the very least, it's a new category, so that's good. And his super attacks. 12 key is the fusion energy wave, raises attack, and causes colossal damage to all enemies. So I'm sure you could tell from just seeing the animation, it is an attack all AOE super attack. So he does attack all enemies with a medium chance to stun the enemy as well. So I mean, this dude is literally made for the world tournament because not only does he attack all, but he also has a 30-ish percent chance to stun the enemies too, so they can't attack you after. So that's amazing. And his 18 key is the Structo Disc, raises attack and defense, and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. Now that's interesting because he is stacking both attack and defense, especially defense on the 18 key. So in theory, he probably could do okay if you if you can consistently get that 18 key off in the Legendary Goku event. Of course, the issue there is that you won't have the option of like changing you know, key that much and like getting a lot of orbs for Krillin. So 
you might not be able to actually stack too much defense, but you can also see that on his passive, he gets key plus three and defense plus 30%. So he's not gonna be that bad defensively, even without the 18 key super, right? So key plus three, defense plus 30,000, attack plus 20,000 when launching a super attack and an additional attack plus 20,000 more when launching an ultra super attack, gains an additional key plus three when there's only one enemy and attack plus 10,000 per enemy if there are two or more enemies for every enemy present starting with the second enemy and performs an additional super attack if there are six or more enemies. So that's a lot to take in, I know. Let me try to make it more simple and break it down a little bit. So basically he's getting key plus three and defense plus 30,000 no matter what. But if you're launching a ultra super, then he also gets an additional, oh, sorry. If you're launching a normal super attack, he gets an additional 20,000. So that's 40,000 attack now. But if you're launching an ultra super attack, he also gets an additional 20,000 on top of that. So that's 60,000 attack and key plus three when launching an ultra super. And then he also gets key plus three more if you're facing only one enemy. So that's key plus six and if you're facing a bunch of enemies, then he gets an additional attack plus 10,000 for every enemy present after the first one. So you're not counting that first one, but every enemy after that, he gets 10,000 more attack. So let's say, for example, on um, World Tournaments, you're facing seven enemies, right? So it's 10,000 times six, 60,000 additional attack on top of the 20,000 for launching a super attack. So that's 80,000 attack he's getting for that 12 key, um, 100,000 actually for the 18 key, but you want to get that 12 key because you want to attack all, right? So 80,000 additional attack on world tournament. And then on top of that, he's also performing an additional guaranteed super attack because there are going to be six or more enemies in world tournament. You're going to be facing seven. So this dude is made for the world tournament. Like we literally have the new king of world tournament because I mean, I'm, I, I'm not saying he's going to hit harder than LR Broly because he's probably not, but um, he, he gets the additional guaranteed super just like Broly, but he's also better for key because he gives himself up to six key when face, actually no, uh, three key, my bad, because you know, the three, uh, the additional three key is only for one enemy, right? So he's giving himself three key. So he's going to be, um, much easier to get supers off with in the world tournament since you're only getting one, um, leader skill, right? So that's always an issue with LR Broly, but this guy's not going to have as much of an issue. And uh, he also has a medium chance to stun all the enemies too, just in case he doesn't finish them off with that double super. Um, there's a good chance that at least one of the supers will stun the enemy as well so i mean he's just amazing honestly like he is so freaking good and um it will be interesting to see how he performs actually on you know non-world tournament events like the legendary goku event because he's a fizz type so he should do really well on the last stage against the mui goku and if you can get that ultra super off a couple times then he should have quite a bit of defense by the end as well so i'm sure somebody's gonna make a showcase probably truth or somebody else but uh, that's gonna be interesting to see but i mean when it comes to the world tournament uh there's not gonna be a lot of units out there that are gonna be better than him i think the only one will be lr broly but uh, this guy i think is gonna be pretty comparable if not better Probably not better, but comparable, all right? So that's that's insane to me. That's insane that there's a unit now that can rival LR Broly for world tournament dominance, you know? And uh, his links are Z Fighters, Turtle School, Bravery, Best Buddies, Rival Duo, uh, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Earthlings and Full Power. So only two categories there, but that's okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is everything we know about the LR Krillin. I think he is fantastic, man. I think he is so freaking good. And he looks like he's going to be so much fun to use too. And even if you're not facing a bunch of enemies, like in the world tournament, um, his single target damage, especially with that 18 key, should be pretty high as well. So uh, I'm excited to see some showcases, excited to see some calculations for his, you know, attack per turn or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, great, great free to play LR on its way to JP very soon. And global players that are watching this, we can probably expect it to drop, I want to say, you know, in like 
four to six months, you know, your standard delay between JP and global, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, we are getting the prime battle LR cell event. So that's good, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> that is the video. Enjoy Krillin super attacks one more time. And uh, that's all guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Krillin. Do you think he's going to be as good as LR Broly for the world tournament? Or do you think that LR Broly is still going to be better? I think LR Broly probably still going to be better, but uh, this guy's going to be able to get a super attack a lot easier. And uh, he also has the chance to stun. So I think that makes up for it, right? Like maybe lower damage output, but better utility. You know, he does more things and he can get a super more often. So it's a trade-off, but he's going to be awesome. Trust me, like a lot of people are going to be using this guy for the world tournament, especially like newer players or players who don't have LR Broly. This is a great alternative, probably the best free to play alternative alternative to the str lr broly when it comes to the world tournament so there you go and uh, that's it guys that is the video thank you guys so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.